think design of a system in the first place is how it works. So if a system doesn't work, then it's no use to make a nice shape around it. Basically, it's just a finishing touch. And what you see in lots of products, when there's been attention to how a product looks like, usually there's also a lot of attention in how it's working. So it it's basically goes hand in hand in most, uh, in most cases. This system is built very quickly. We uh, only took a year to build it from scratch. So there was nothing last year. Uh, we made the concept, we made the entire detail design in just a year. You need a starting point. And to be the daredevil, to design that starting point, have the guts to do that, build it, and be successful in its performance, I think that is, uh, yeah, that is good to be part of that team. It's, it's already extremely exciting. Uh, for me personally, it's also exciting to see the covering uh, coming up. It makes it an entirely different machine. Uh, it, gives, it gives it its own personality. This is style, this is different. This has its own character, it has its looks. Um, this is something that you can appreciate and that uh, goes to your emotion rather than just functionality. Yeah, we spent quite a bit of time in thinking about how the machine should look like because of course this is the first interceptor on the market so we wanted some kind of product image that, that would stick. Like Boyan said at the beginning, actually it's a bit of a floating garbage truck but we don't want to look it like a garbage truck. It has to be a real slick, modern vessel. And our task was to make an industrial product which you can make in larger series especially focused on things like the canopy and the overall look and feel for a project on this size. It's quite impressive that not even a year later it's actually lying here. So um, looking forward to see it floating. Yeah, it's really cool. I can see this floating in Malaysia and in Vietnam at our project locations. It will be really cool to see the debris coming in and being dumped at, uh, at the dumpsters. Yeah, what I also like about the design is the, uh, the use of the colors. The details are the, the light blue and it really works out nice together with the black of the pontoons and, and the white and dark blue of the canopy. I've been on our prototype in Jakarta, which is much smaller than this one. And you see that you, you need storage capacity on board of your system in order to really make an impact. So you should run day and night and uh, make it run continuously in order to get a lot of stuff out. This catamaran is um, going to sail into the pontoon, actually in the direction as you see from here with these dumpsters on top and we will have the, uh, the sensors to measure how much volume is in each of these dumpsters and after the total system is filled, if we work in automatic mode, a signal will come to pick up the barge and to exchange it with uh, empty dumpsters. So one really unique aspect about this machine is the, the size. You can run it for an entire day at a very polluted river and you still have the capacity to, uh, to store it internally. There's no machine like this at the market, so it's, it's unique. Holy shit, <laughs> it's uh, quite big. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. So you're awake? No, I'm awake. <laughs> Yeah. 
So do you think? I'm just in awe of the size at first. It's yeah, I mean it is much bigger than Interceptor 1. The length was kind of similar, but that's because of the 6 meter pointy thing at the front. Yes. So now the system itself is much bigger. Yeah, it's uh, just super cool to see, you know. Yeah. What I really love about engineering is, you know, it's really uh, this, this act of creation of, you know, it all just starting with an idea and just the PowerPoint presentation and, yeah, there's a lot of hard work and smart people. It can actually turn into, you know, physical atoms and, um, yeah. Cool to see it come to life. Yeah, it makes me proud to be able to be part of this performance actually and to make this uh, come to life and to, uh, to also make sure that this is a good and a reliable system that can execute its job in a reliable way. I'm pretty comfortable that we have a very good basis here. With the Interceptor 1, I think it was the right decision to not unveil it with that because it's just not good enough. This is good enough. It's more than good enough. With this too, I think we can win the war. really think so. I don't think anyone is expecting this to, <laughs> to come out.